Debbie. Good morning, everyone. Good, good morning, morning, people and pets. It's good to have us all together. It's going well so far. <laughs> Accentuate the positive. <laughs> hope is mandatory. Yes, and hope is mandatory. I'm Reverend T.J. Mack. We are the Union Congregational Church of Hancock. Thank you for joining us this morning for our blessing of the animals. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. We are masking unless we're speaking, and if anybody has concerns about that, I'll mask while I speak, but we do have a fair distance between us. Um, anybody want me to change this? Okay, thank you. A um, couple announcements. Invitation from Candy Eaton at Age Friendly Sullivan. Please join them September 28th from 10 to noon at the Sullivan Town Office. That sounds like Tuesday. Is that right? <laughs> Welcome. Um, Tuesday the 28th, Walgreens is bringing their flu vaccine to Sullivan. So at the town office, no appointment needed. Myrna Horndorter will provide refreshments. Andrea St. George, St. George Jones will host an informal table on age-friendly Sullivan activities. Next week is World Communion Sunday. We'll celebrate communion, and as we do every month when we celebrate communion, we'll take an offering for the Loves and Fishes Food Pantry. Um, so bring a non-perishable donation for that if you choose. And also, Loaves and Fishes Food Pantry is in need of volunteers for the first two weeks of October. If you can help Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, please let me know or let a member of the Outreach Committee know. We'll get you in touch with Ken at Loaves and Fishes. We have a couple birthdays and anniversaries. October 1st, Tom and Marge Severance have an anniversary. October 1st, Sally's daughter Gina has a birthday. Wish her a happy birthday. And October 2nd, Sue Bonner has a birthday. And a week from today, Everett Hespling has a birthday. Things to be aware of. Any other announcements? Let us center ourselves, prepare our hearts and minds for worship. That's totally acceptable. <laughs> Please stand in body or spirit and join in singing or enjoy. <laughs> sign language while we're not touching as much, while we're keeping our distance. Peace be with you. 
Say it one more time. Peace be with you. And you say, and also with you. <laughs> Our peace prayer this morning is an affirmation from Reverend Jana Adair Hansen. God calls us out of darkness to live in light. God calls us out of falsehood to live in truth. God calls us out of despair to live in hope. God calls us out of fear to live in trust. God calls us out of hate to live in love. God calls us out of fighting to live in peace. God calls us to fill our hearts, our worlds, our universe with peace, with peace, with peace. Deb's going to play All God's Critters. If you know this, sing out real loud. If you don't know it, sing out real loud, too. <laughs>
bless us all to love your creation and revere its sacredness always. Amen. Amelia, I might have you today. Amelia and Lucy are going to help with the blessing of the animals. And maybe Jen also. If Jen, if you could write people certificates for them. People probably just follow them. Yeah, okay. So we will start. So, Amelia, here's a bucket of water. And here's some. So the two of you are going to bless without soaking the animals. They might not appreciate that. <laughs> just a little tap. So we'll start over here with Tad Cole and Sheila. Do you want to bring the bucket or do you want to just dip? I think you can carry it. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Tad Cole. Creator God, bless this animal and his companion. May Tadpole give and receive love all the days of his life. And may both Sheila and Tadpole be blessed with good health and joy. And we'll bless Milo from a distance. May God bless Milo and Sheila all the days of their lives. May they have good health and joy. Creator so, God, bless this animal and her companion. May Sunny give and receive love all the days of her life. And may both Sunny and Sally be blessed with good health and joy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, girls. Is it Sunny with a U or a U? Lady yeah, so don't get Lady Lou wet, okay? <laughs> okay, Creator God, bless this animal and her human companions. May Lady Lou give and receive love all the days of her life. And may both David and Cynthia and Lady Lou be blessed with good health and joy. Amen. Give her a little splash there. <laughs> Creator God, bless this animal and her companion. May Mookie give and receive love all the days of her life. And may both Robin and Mookie be blessed with good health and joy. And Russ the cat be blessed with good health and joy for Robin and Lisa. Hi, who's in here? This is Louis. Louis. Hi, Louis. Thank you. Hi, sweetheart. Okay. And what's your name? Claire. Creator God, bless this animal and her companion. May Louis give and receive love all the days of their life. And may both Claire and Louis be blessed with good health. Yes, they always appreciate the water. Give that to That's a awesome blessing. Thank you. And who's this? I'm Denise, and this is Tucker. Hi, Tucker. Hi, Denise. <laughs> That's fine. It's clean. Creator God, bless this animal and their companion. May Tucker give and receive love all the days of their life. And may both Denise and Tucker be blessed with good health and joy. Okay. Creator God, bless this animal and her companion. May Sky give and receive love all the days of her life. May both Sky and Vicky and Everett and Holly and Sierra and Brooklyn be blessed with good health and joy. And Ted, too. <laughs> Annie, come on over. Oh, that's okay. I, I know. Creator God, bless this animal and their companions. May Annie give and receive love all the days of her life. 
and may both Artie and Annie and Jen and Amelia and Lucy be blessed with good health and joy. And Creator God, bless this animal and her companions. May Pippa give and receive love all the days of her life. And may both Deb and Pippa be blessed with good health. Thank you. May Little Red receive and give love all the days of her life. And may both Eva Bell and Josh and Savannah be blessed with good health and joy. <laughs> and Daisy and the chickens. And bless Daisy and the chickens. They have good health and joy all the days of their lives. Over here. We'll, we'll, we'll do Ron first, and then we'll come back to yeah. these cats. May Patches give and receive love all the days of his life, and may both Ron and Doug and Patches be blessed with good health and joy. Amen. A little blessing of the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the cat's name. This is Cooper. Cooper. And Twinkle. Okay, we're going to do one at a time. Cooper, may you give and receive love all the days of your life. And may your family be blessed with good health and joy. Creator God, bless Katie and her companions. May Katie give and receive love all the days of her life. And may Lucy and Amelia and Jen and Artie be blessed with good health and joy. All of them. Who's our Creator God, bless this animal and their companion. I'm going to poke her head out a little bit. May Twinkle give and receive love all the days of their life. And may both Twinkle and her family be blessed with good health and joy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Black Beauty. Creator God, bless this animal and her human companions. May Black Beauty give and receive love all the days of their life. And may Nick and Mary Angela and Black Beauty be blessed with good health and joy. Thank you. We're going to bless into the camera for those at home. Thank you. Right here with the girls, you can stay with me. Creator God, bless these animals and their companions. May they all give and receive love every day of their lives, and may the animals and their companions be blessed with good health and joy. Get a splash away from the away from the lens, but just splash the air. There we go. <laughs> Did we get everybody? You mind if we get one? Yeah, oh, sure, sure. Creator God, bless these animals and their companions. May they give and receive love all the days of their lives, and may the, both the animals and their human companions be blessed with good health and joy. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, girls. Our prayer to 
close the blessing of the animals is in your bulletins if you read in unison. You dearest companions in our lives, dogs and cats, hamsters and goldfish, you are with us today and you will always be present in our memories. You have enriched our lives in so many ways, endured our shortcomings with calm acceptance, taught us something of our humanity, taught us how to love. May we hold you in our hearts and throughout the days of our lives. Amen. We have our Old Testament or our Hebrew scripture from the book of Genesis. It's part of the first creation story. Chapter 1, verses 20 through 25. Glasses would have been good. God then said, Waters swarm with an abundance of living beings. Birds fly above the earth in the open expanse of the sky. And so it was. God created great sea monsters and all sorts of swimming creatures with which the waters are filled and all kinds of birds. God saw that this was good and blessed them, saying, Bear fruit, increase your numbers, and fill the waters of the seas. Birds abound on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Earth, bring forth all kinds of living soul, cattle, things that crawl, and wild animals of all kinds. So it was. God made all kinds of wild animals and cattle and everything that crawls on the ground, and God saw that this was good. That is a reading from the Hebrew scripture. And we have paired it with a blessing the animals poem of Jan Richardson. She writes, You who created them and called them good, bless these creatures again, who come to us as a blessing, fashioned of fur or feather or fin, formed of flesh that breathes with your own breath, that you have made from sheer delight, that you have given and dazzling variety. Bless them who curl themselves around our hearts, who twine themselves through our days, who companion us in our labor, who call us to come and play. Bless them who will never be entirely tamed, and so remind us that you love what is wild, that you rejoice in what lives close to the earth, that your heart beats in the heart of these creatures you have entrusted to our care. reflections and the thoughts of our hearts be pleasing to our God, our rock and our redeemer. 
God gifted us with creatures that crawl and fly and slither and walk and swim. All are precious in God's sight. Today, we honor the work of St. Francis in the world by focusing our service on creatures, great and small. St. Francis spent much of his life striving to live as Jesus lived. Francis considered all of nature to be the mirror of God. He was a friend to the animals, treating them as brothers and sisters of this earth, understanding that their presence was a blessing. This morning we read from one of the Genesis creation stories. God created an abundance of living beings in the waters, on the earth, and in the air. And God declared it all good. A few verses later, God grants us dominion over all that was created. And you might know dominion means power or authority. This has sometimes been abused. With power and authority comes the responsibility to take care of and help protect all that God has created. Many of us have domestic animal friends, animals that live with us in our houses. We provide food, shelter, and yes, even clothing for our animals. <laughs> what about other animals? Wild animals, dangerous animals, or in danger animals? Let us remember to learn about and care for animals nearing extinction. And for our younger group, extinction means dying out, that soon there might not be any more of something. A quick internet search or a visit to the library can teach us which creatures need help. I thought I'd highlight four this morning. A sayola, known by some as the Asian unicorn. It's a cousin of cows and was first discovered about 25 years ago in north central Vietnam. It has unusually long, straight horns. In fact, its name in Vietnamese means spindle horns. It has striking markings, but unfortunately, this animal is under threat due to hunting and the destruction of its forest habitat by the lumber industry. The second animal is called a pangolin. It looks like a cross between an armadillo and a pineapple. You have to look that up. <laughs> it would seem well protected because it has scales covering every inch of its body. And it rolls itself into a ball to protect itself. But that protects it from other animal predators. The human predators are what's making the trouble. Um, animal traffickers consider this meat a delicacy and their scales to be a cure from asthma to arthritis. A third animal I looked up was called a black crested gibbon. Located in southern China as well as Laos and Vietnam, these apes have arms about twice the length of their bodies. But according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the population of the gibbons has declined more than 80% in the last 45 years due to hunting and habitat loss. And lastly, our fourth animal is called a red wolf. A thinner and smaller relative of the gray wolf, this creature is more reddish gray, as you would suspect by its name. Inhabiting the Midwest and once found as far west as Texas and as south as Florida, its territory has been reduced by an estimated 99.7%. Nowhere to live. These are just a sampling of all God's critters that need our respect and our protection. Finally, what about animals that pro provide our food and our clothing needs? Goats, chickens, honeybees, cows, water buffalo, pigs, sheep, alpaca. You might recognize that as heifer international animals that they provide. God made all these and said they were good. These and all animals are God's good gifts to us. The gift, the blessing, comes with responsibility. The Heifer International website informs us that giving an animal is like giving someone a small business, providing wool, milk, eggs, and more. Animal donations can provide families a hand up, increasing access to medicine, school, food, and a sustainable livelihood. We are truly blessed by the presence of the creatures God created in our world. Some of them are here with us today. Some are memories in our hearts. 
Some are wild and foreign and known only to us from afar. Let us always remember that we, humans, young and old, do have power over all that God has created, and that God's intention for us was to care for, not harm, the beloved web of life that was created in God's image. Let us live in harmony with all that God has created. Let us be a blessing to all of the creatures in our world as they bless us. Amen. We take time each week to offer our prayers to God, to each other. This morning we ask for prayers for Sheila's family. Her brother Ted died this week. And we ask for prayers for not only Sheila, but uh, Ted's daughter, Gina, and all that loved Ted, and all that loved Sheila and Gina. May he rest in peace. We also pray especially this morning for the family and friends in this community and the greater Hancock uh, Sheriff's Department community, the loss of Officer Luke Gross this week. We hold his family in our hearts and all those that are touched by that loss. God, we pray this morning for our human friends and family, and for our animal friends and family. We pray for those with us and those departed. We give thanks for all the ways that animals, wild and tame, teach us about your love and your creation. Help us to be good friends to all. Do we have other prayers that you want to raise up? We did put the prayers out electronically this week, knowing that this might be shorter, trying to keep the animals calm. Gracious creator, hear and bless thy beasts and singing birds, and guard with tenderness small things that have no words. Amen. We will pray together the prayer that we were taught, that Jesus was taught, Jesus taught his disciples, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. care to make an offering, you can do it before or after the service, or at this point after the service at either entrance. Um, I invite you just to ponder all the ways that you have been blessed by your animals, tame or wild, while God plays us a selection.
Amen. Amen. 